After nine months of lies and drunken rants, Ramona's saga was finally over, and we return to the basics, Lorne and Emma. They had patched their relationship up and they're pretty much back to being friends. This kind of thing happens throughout the entire story. Emma deals with someone who Lorne disagrees with or does something that Lorne doesn't approve of. How many times have you hurt my feelings? Do you know how many times I looked on the internet and saw all this shit on your channel? You fucking hurt the living fuck out of me. Do you realize that? I mean, that whole fucking bullshit is all about me. Lauren lashes out on Emma, and they fight for a while. When you're drunk, you're different. You tell me you don't abuse women, and then you fucking abuse me when you're drunk, verbally. And then you I say, oh, and then you say that I can't record you, you, and then you tell I me that I can. Wait a minute. Well, well, all right, let's get this clear. You want to say that I don't want to abuse women? You continue to shout, and I'm going to hang up on you, sir. Please, I don't deserve well, that. I can hear you when you talk in a normal tone. Sure if, if, you, if you can't talk to that, that's friendship fucking this shit. Listen to this. Hi, Lauren, how are you? Hey, Lauren, shut the fuck up, Lauren. I'm trying to fucking talk to you. Shut up. Fuck, what the fuck's wrong with you? Which one do you, how do you want to be, how do you want to be spoken to? Emma comes up with an excuse, or Lauren is just completely misreading the entire situation. Emma also expresses how much she enjoys being Lauren's friend. Hey, you gotta ex- I'm, I'm, gonna tell, I'm going to tell you why I did it when I was drunk. Okay. Because I was, I was still very protective of you, very defensive of you. Because in my mind, you never left being my best friend in my mind. Because we got close. Well, your mind didn't work very well then. Because I obviously I mean, was it, fucking with you. I, I was irritated. And, and I had just gotten you back and I, I didn't want you to leave me because you were a good best friend. And boom, relationship healed. Everything is perfectly fine. The stuff with Ramona and her turning out to be Elizabeth and all the catfishing stuff is going to be the last time Lauren and Emma would massively fall out. After a few months, they were back to being good friends and they're basically going to stay like this for the rest of the story. In fact, they would become closer as friends as the months go by, as Emma would talk to Lauren a lot more and even start interacting with more of his family, like his brother, Roy. They're like... I don't want to talk to you. I don't really want to talk to you. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk to him? Sure. I thought you talked to him before, didn't I? Hi. No. I believe you spoke with Ramona. I said I believe you've spoken with Ramona before. Oh, okay. So you know Lauren? Yeah, that's Lauren's ex. Well, I'm the second to you, uh, third to yours. And Lauren, uh, I used to pick Lauren up. Uh, it's Lauren. I used to pick on him so bad. Aww. And I think the thing was, was he so much like me. Uh, and don't find out all of a sudden we get older and I look out for him more and I, I don't hear from my other brothers and sister at all. So I'll come down and jump out a couple of them and they Oh, it's also important to note that Emma and Stanley aren't dating anymore. Stanley and I, we're broken up, Stanley and I, so. Oh, you are? Yeah. What happened? <sighs> I just think she's too old for me, and um, she was she wasn't the person I thought she was, and it's okay. But I got to meet the lawyer through her, kind of. Oh, yeah. So, and are you gonna let him take you out? No, we went out. I went. I flew over to visit him. Oh, really? Yeah. You tell me that. Well, I know because we've been. You tell me that. We've been talking about you and Ramona and your problems, and I didn't want to complicate it more. They had broken up all the way back in August, and now Emma was going on dates with the lawyer that was there for the sperm stuff. This lawyer, who went by Rick before, seemed to have changed his name, though, because now everyone just calls him Dan.
Everything was going okay for Lauren, but he's now starting to miss that connection. The connection you can only get when you're dating somebody else. Luckily for Lauren, he might have another shot with another girl. Despite Lauren losing access to his computer and by proxy, the internet, he never deleted his YouTube channel. It was still up for everyone to see and it was still gaining both subscribers and views. Emma also kept a close eye on the channel. Well, as close of an eye as she could because this isn't her channel, it's Lauren's channel. The channel that Emma made Lauren, Lauren's buddy, was still up for anyone to see, but Lauren couldn't get the password from Emma to run his own channel, so he just made his own called Lauren Armstrong. One person who saw this YouTube channel was Casey. Yes, that's right. The girl from Lauren's most infamous night of his life decided to look his name up and found out something shocking. Lauren is very popular, almost like a celebrity. She started to comment on Lauren's videos. Emma noticed it and notified Lauren about this. Lauren, interested, told Emma to try to contact her, which was easy because Casey also lives in California with Emma. And after a bit, they both start talking. Although this phone call is lost to time, we generally know how their first conversation went down. They talk about the night of the sting, and Casey apologizes. Lauren must have been in a very uncomfortable spot since he was there to have sex with the kid. Lauren also acknowledges that Casey must have been very uncomfortable, acting as the little girl he thought he was going to have sex with. The two admit that there were some sparks between them when they met, and after some more talking, they started to date each other in March. We're going to learn more about her as time goes on, but just for starters, Casey is a woman in her 30s who lives in California and basically lives the Hollywood lifestyle. She's very sex addicted, which is something you're going to notice for yourself very soon. She likes her drugs a lot, and I mean a lot, and she cares a lot about her celebrity status. Hello, it's your favorite internet personality here. While I was editing this video, two new, unheard phone calls were released by none other than Kelp Pill. These two calls shed more of a light on Casey's character, and I feel it's important to play a bit of it to get an understanding of Lauren's new girlfriend. For context, Lauren has just started dating Casey, and because both Emma and Casey live in California, Emma is pretty much the mediator between the two. With that being said, here's more about Casey. She, she heard that re uh, recording on the internet. Uh, with uh, the recording that I had with a with a decoy. Yeah. That she never heard that before. Oh, really? Yeah. The, 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 she knows nothing about all the stuff. Uh oh. Yeah, she's uh, she's literally finding she's finding stuff out. And she didn't know what M all what NBC did. Anything. Well, I, yeah, but she's jealous. Oh. Of me? <laughs> Come on. Yes. She's like a professional yes. model. She's beautiful. She's fit. She's like all the yeah, things well, I'm not. She... <laughs> she said, Lauren and I have, we've already had the most intimate relationship I've ever had with another man. And we've shared intimate things. She has had a fucked up life. A, a very fucked up life. Yeah, she and, told me. She said, you don't know the power I have. I've been um, expertly trained by the Illuminati and MK Ultra as a sex kitten, and I can go crazy in a moment's notice. She said, I used to get passed around and brainwashed when I was a kid to have sex with other people. And I can, um, what she said, I can change myself back into an MK Ultra soldier and go find you if you don't try to keep... Um, if you don't keep, if you keep talking sexy to Lauren, trained uh, by, trained by people who trained the CIA operatives to do like undercover brainwashing stuff where they switch personalities. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, guys, we've been together less than a week. I don't understand how she got so, uh, obsessed with me so fast. But she said I'm you're like, her wow. future husband. <laughs> Did you already propose uh, to her? No. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she said everybody that she's fucked has ever has always been underage or way older than her. And I said, you please yeah. like stop telling me secrets about your life.
Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, also Casey has kids, has a brother, and is in the middle of a divorce. Lauren and Casey got to know each other as this month passes, and they started dating very quickly, going from casual banter to this. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, honey. How are you? I want to run my tongue up your pussy lips and suck on your clip. Wow. Yes, Casey is nothing like Ramona. Lauren and Ramona's relationship seemed to be mostly asexual, while Casey and Lauren had long, frequent, drawn-out phone sex with each other that if you listen to long enough, it'll haunt your dreams. I know just where to find the answers, and I know just how to dream. And I know just where to touch you, and I know just what to do. I know when to pull you closer, and I know when to let you loose. And I know the night is fading. Other than the riveting phone sex that they both had constantly, Lauren was focused on going through probation and using lawyers to try to speed up the process a little bit. See, I, I have a hey. computer, so I can watch your videos. Man. Yeah. I'm allowed to have a computer. I'm not grounded. <laughs> uh, smart ass. <laughs> I know. Well, um... Yeah, my computer back soon. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah, but they don't want me to go on YouTube. They don't want me to go on any social any social media. It well, how are you going to have weird. your channel and make videos? Well, uh, my lawyer is going to be is, is getting involved in that also because it, it, it's really weird because I, I told my supervisor that I do want to do my YouTube because I like doing it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they came up with the rule, with, with, with this rule that I can't be on social media until after I'm done with the class. Well, my lawyer's gonna get me out of going to this class all over again. <laughs> so a month passes and things start to escalate very quickly. One, Casey goes to rehab for all of her problems. Sex addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. And because she's in rehab, her and Lauren's phone conversations become few and far between. And a lot of their messaging starts to happen via text. Lauren, you if I need to explain you this to him, you let him go to a place that I am only I am the only one that's supposed to go. I need, if I need to explain this to you again, I will. If somebody has an addiction, what? if somebody has an addiction like I do, sometimes it's stronger than love. It's stronger than what we know is healthy. That's why I'm here and I'm getting help. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not just gonna walk in here and everything is fine. It's gonna take a lot of time. Well, it's not gonna take a lot of time. You don't it's know what you're gonna take a lot of time. You don't know what you're talking about. It's also important to note that Lauren isn't playing around like he did with Elizabeth slash Ramona. He wants to see Casey face to face as soon as possible. So she promises him that she'll come and visit once she's done with rehab too. Lauren starts to become like super paranoid for a variety of reasons. His last relationship left him questioning everything, so now he's doing everything that he can to make sure Casey is someone that he can trust. Casey is also relapsing in rehab, and she's doing this by asking the janitor for his sexual favors, which of course also fuels Lauren's paranoia because now Lauren just thinks that she's cheating on him all the time. Hang up on me. I did what? Well, I said I never would. You fucking hung up on me too. No, I didn't. I'm, I got cut off. I'm pissed off. This fucking janitor has something to do with everything right now. Nothing. She stuck nothing. his finger on your fucking pussy. He's right there with you. No, he isn't. Tell me what the fuck is going on with this janitor. Nothing is going on. With I him. know you was just on the phone with him. I was A talking three way to with him and Kate. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck so? is going on? You invited him over for sex. I know yes, about it. You don't know about it. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to be honest with me about this fucking janitor. I've been honest with you the entire time. I've hey, always well, you said, better no get this fucking janitor away up. from you. No matter how fucked up it is, I've always just said it. And three, Casey's dad starts to become concerned with his daughter's well-being. Let's talk about him for a second.
Paul Morrow is a 57 year old man and also lives in California with his daughter. He bought Casey and her brother at a young age and forced her to be a child actor. He has sexually assaulted both Casey and her children several times. He branded both Casey, her brother, and her children. He has a charge of involuntary manslaughter for choking out a prostitute. He's also insanely rich and he holds quite a lot of power in the LA scene. Hi, yes, I'm back one more time. Remember those two calls I played earlier? Well, not only do we learn more about Casey in those newly released calls, we learn more about her dad as well. For context, since the beginning of Lauren and Casey's relationship, Lauren has also been aware of Paul because you can't have one without the other. He's basically a supervillain and the perfect foil to Lauren as he represents everything he's ever hated. Here's how much of a bad guy Paul really is. And I said, well, I was like, why are you whispering? And she said, my dad's in the other room and if he heard me talking to you, he'd hire a hitman to go find you. Yeah, well, her, uh, her dad is friends with Chris Hansen. Yeah, that's what she told me. Oh, she told you that? She said, well, What yeah. else did she tell you? Oh, God, her dad's friends with all of these big wigs in Hollywood. They can expose me if I keep up my shit with you. She told me that her dad used to make her go to sex parties and have sex with... She's like, I've done, the, I've done scary shit and I've done bad shit, and you're, and you think you're talking to an angel, but I'm not. And her dad had her have sex with kids and old men, like in parties where they wear masks and shit. They have, she says, I have cameras all over my house, so if you even think of coming to see, my dad's gonna see in the screen in his room or wherever he is, he can check it on his phone. I know what else it is too. I know he's afraid of me because he knows what I can do to, to Chris Hansen and, and he probably has some investment in that. Yeah, he is afraid of you. He told me. I told him, do you know what Casey has told Lauren about Chris Hansen? And he said, she better not say anything. And I heard her say, I didn't, Daddy. I didn't, Daddy. I didn't tell him. All right. That's all I got. Enjoy the video. Lauren, being the white knight that he is, now tries to get Casey to stand up to her father, which leads to varying degrees of success. If you're gonna be with me, you are not going to do drugs. Hey, it's my last time. You're going to stick up, you are going to stick up to your dad, your disgusting fucking dad that I don't like. You're going to stick up to him. You're 29 years old. You're not going to throw your fucking life away because of your dad's money. Because you are hurting your fucking kids. You're going to stop thinking about, about yourself. You don't know anything about I'm bringing about your kids in this. You don't know anything about that. I know you're hurting. I know you're mm -hmm. hurting them. You've never asked anything about my kids. Ever. Don't get defensive with me about your kids when your dad is hurting your kids. He's not hurting them, Lauren. You're fucking you full know, of shit. You don't know anything about me. He's got control over you. You're the only one that can pull your ass out of that. Is this what I have to look for? The reason to you're not pulling your ass out of that? They're going to see you. All right, hang on. Thing? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm, hang on. Let me fucking. You're right. I shouldn't be yelling. I'm getting pissed off because your fucking dad grosses me out. Lauren and Paul's first interaction was very hostile. As Paul was upset about a phone call leaking that involves a random girl who calls herself Slut Machine Gun and Lauren having phone sex. You douchebag. This is Paul Morrow. What the fuck are you doing? Why yeah, is my you, daughter's you, team all You fucking piece of shit. Don't talk to me about this shit. This so shit is all fucking new to me, too. You fucking piece of shit. Don't call me. Fervitation of her finances and everything. She cannot be around you. You're a totally bad influence. No way. I don't need her name and her address and her acting career getting ruined because of you and your ex girlfriend. Unbelievable.
important. Listen to me. What are you doing to my daughter? I'm not doing anything. How could you treat her like this? You mean how could I treat her like this? I didn't do anything. I literally did not do anything. Why is these, fucking, these fucking people, these people on the internet are obsessed with me. And they're trying to get any fucking way they can to get me and get my number on the and information about me on the internet. Why they want updates about me. I don't fucking, I don't fucking care about any of these people. I care about Jason. That's all I care about. Then why are you hitting on this slut? I flirted with it. No, 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 I didn't even want anything to do with that slot. You didn't even want anything to do with it, but you wanted to stick your penis in your mouth? Are you retarded? Yeah. If you didn't even do it, why would you? Are you, are, you really, are you really wanting to call anybody retarded? Look at the shit that you have done to her. Look at the shit that you have done to Casey. I you ever her stop her. and think about that? You fucked her life up bad. I've made so much money off of her, and all you do is go to yeah. jail. You, you made so much money off her. Do you listen? Are you listening to yourself? You made so much money off of her. That's the reason that you have money is because of her. So it's actually her money. I'm successful and it's my money now because you just fucked her whole acting career by wanting to fuck some woman you've never met. You fucked her up for your own personal financial gain. You stole her money. You stole her money. Say, I'm a dummy, and I just cost her millions of dollars. Say it. Repeat after me. I'm a dummy. Casey also yells at Lauren for doing this, so that's nice. I've hey, always well, you said, better no get the fucking janitor how, away up. from you. No matter how fucked up it is, I've always just said it. And then I hear this from Kate. From Kate. From Kate, Words a fucking girl I've never mouth. fucking met. You wanted to. The one that you told me and that you, you did, that me. you wanted me to meet. You weren't going to say I told her to go ahead and come up here and meet me and show me you're a real person. That's not all That's you what said. I said to Kate. That's not all you said, because I heard you. That is not all. I, that is I all. I, that's all I fucking said that was any, of any importance. I never said oh, anything sexual to honest. her. Just be honest. The I told her I had a girlfriend. Nothing was going to happen. That's yeah, what I told her. Said, and you said, don't post this on the internet. Yeah, My I just don't doesn't fucking to post. This. I told her, don't her. post anything I say on the internet. I told her, don't post anything I say on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then after that, because you said. Because I'm tired of being recorded and put on the I'm internet. Seeing, the girl I'm seeing doesn't need to know either. I'm not going to tell her. That That's shit that said. I didn't say. Yes, you did. That is shit that I. No, bullshit. It's your voice, stupid asshole. I don't of course it's my you voice. stupid fucking asshole. You can't even tell your own voice. You I'm going to I'm be gonna honest, honest with you too. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Mm -hmm. Don't hold it against me. Because I did invite Kate over here to stay the night. Mm -hmm. I know. But I did. I did not tell her she was going to sleep in my bed. I told her I had a couch. After Lord and Paul have their little spat, they somewhat hash it out. And Paul decides to keep a closer eye on Lauren, just to make sure that he doesn't damage his goods. Lauren, on the opposite end, now has the goal to get Casey as far away from her father as possible. Well, that was always the goal, but now it's a lot more personal. Now moving into the month of May, we finally get to see how this relationship is affecting all of the parties involved. Casey is realizing how messed up Lauren truly is, all he does is get drunk and yells at her about standing up to his father and not having sex with random guys. Not only that, but he's a pedophile, and that's always not a plus. You, you are don't a pedophile. Know. Pedophile! Casey decides it's about time she steps a bit back. She stops telling Lauren that she loves him and that she's going to focus more on her rehab instead of Lauren and whatever he's crying about. All day today, you never told me you loved me all day after I told you over more than three times. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't love you and I'm not your girlfriend? How many times? You don't love me? How many times? You don't love are? me? Why are you drag trying to drag this out of me? Why? Tell me you don't love me? Lauren, come on. Stop acting. You like love me or not? You really need to stop. You love me or not? Stop. Do you love do you love me or not? Lauren, I'm just trying to love myself. And I'm I working, want you to I'm love working, yourself. 
I'm working on getting. But it doesn't to mean know that I you. want you to take your love away from me. I'm learning to get to know you, and you should be doing the same for me instead of trying to badger me into saying that I love you. That's pathetic. Not badger you. I'm not the one that forced you to say that you love me to begin with. And but I, I don't stopped. expect you to take it away. And I stopped. So respect it. You stopped. Yesterday. I today. I want because I want You to stopped today. Shut your fucking mouth. You mouth-y told me yesterday you loved me. Bitch. You're a little bitch. Do I need to start calling you Lauren now? Is that your name? Stop. You stopped telling me today. Just because I take a step backwards and I tried, I'm trying to reevaluate, I'm trying to figure things out. You can't be supportive of that. You're completely not capable of doing that. Lauren is trying to get a website running with Emma, Dan, and Elizabeth slash Ramona, who is still in contact with Lauren. So we gotta um, figure out a way so you can make money off this website. So I'm running across things in my head. We can, we can, all things that I sell that we're gonna have to, we have to figure out the pay and all that, all things that I sell. Okay. On, uh, like, or on things that, that are sold. Because obviously it's not just me selling it because you, you'll be involved and Dan and Elizabeth and, you know, but I think that if maybe find some way to get other members of the community involved. This website, if successful, is going to make them a good buck. So he's going to dedicate a little bit of time into it. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work out ever. Lauren also starts to note how Casey's behavior has started to shift. She's a lot more aggressive and critical of him. I was talking to him yesterday. I'd still be a, a bit lost because... Where was your head all of these years? If it took one conversation with Emma, where was your head all of these years? When you had your therapist that you obviously weren't honest with because she didn't know the whole story of you. So she couldn't treat you properly. She couldn't help you. But you wanted to stay with her even though she wasn't yeah, helping she, you. You're assuming everything. I can't stop you from assuming when you're trying to blame me. I'm not assuming anything. The evidence is there. The it's there. Your evidence is there. And so you're it's so... Me I'm happen. blaming you for everything you said. Everything you typed. Everything you said on those disgusting phone calls. Your giddy ass smile when you skipped up to the fucking house. All the bullshit that you have tried to pull when you can't even be honest. It's got to be somebody else. I can be honest. But You're it not. doesn't matter what I say when I am honest. You don't believe what I say. Lauren, you got to stop in your head that I was a certain way. You, you are don't a pedophile. Know. Pedophile! That's it. You are so fucking stupid that you couldn't tell that the girls in those pictures that they sent you of the little babies were totally different people. But you accepted the fact that she was going to look a little different because she's still growing up. And that's something else you're assuming. Which I'm not saying anything because of the fact that you're going to assume it. You don't ask me about it. You assume it. Then tell me the story. And like I said before, she stopped telling Lauren that she loved him, which of course hurt him. He's also still hearing about multiple guys like Pablo, Casey's hot sponsor, and someone who Casey had to give a blowjob to in order to keep her phone in rehab. So Lauren is completely on his guard now. I think is what it was. Oh. But I never even, I didn't even got allergies until I was 40. <laughs> Who's Pablo? Pablo, she, uh, supposedly her sponsor. She said she could bounce a quarter off his ass and it would stick in the ceiling. Must have a fat ass. She called him Pablo Jobs. Yeah, I know. She's. No, she told me he has a muscle butt. No. Lauren, like I said before, is also still in contact with Elizabeth. They were still talking, and Lauren even started to confide in her about his failing relationship. 
He told Elizabeth that he wanted to get back together with her and that if she wants to visit him, the time to do it is now. Of course, Elizabeth, being the reasonable person, told Lauren to just stay with Casey. It was about a week ago, week and a half ago, maybe. Um, but nothing, but it, Casey, nothing happened. And I swear, when, you know, I told him not to break up with you. And, you know, I told him that, you know, to see where things go. Um, so don't even worry. I mean, because you know, I know that, like, you guys were on the rocks then. And um, I didn't want anything... Um, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want him to leave you for me. I wanted you guys to work things out. All of these problems, as they always do, accumulate and result in a massive call where all of the parties involved try to hash it out and solve their differences. Emma and Lauren discuss the purchase of Casey's plane ticket so she can fly out to Maine and meet him. I need you to give me your real address so I can send money to you. I don't want money. Shut up! Don't fucking yell at me, I'm sensitive, I said. I'm gonna be sending money to you to save for Casey's ticket. I don't want any money or responsibility for Casey's ticket until well, I, she I knows mean, what I, day she's gonna go out. And when she finds out the day, I will accept that and make all the arrangements. But I'm oh. not. I don't want any money sent to me right now because I need money for other things and I'll just use it for other things and I'm just being honest with you. This sucks because it feels like I'm, she's going to come out with you. I don't know that she is or not. I am. I'm going to go out with her. I'm going to go up there with Big Dick Dan. You, you fucking better. I'm a, I want Casey to come out with you too. Casey and Lauren talk afterwards. And Casey yells at Lauren about how he's handling the situation with her, Nick, and Paul. Nick, by the way, is Casey's brother. That's his name. I want you to explain something to me, though. Did he get me see you yesterday? No. You invited him to, though. Okay, so because I invited him to means that he showed up? Uh, Why? Well, I, I figured that. I figured that he would. You what? Okay, but he didn't. You know I don't like him. I know you don't. Yeah, yeah, I think you know why I don't like him. I'm not sure that you know why, but I think you know why I don't like him. Okay. It's because of what he did to you. That's why I don't like him. Okay, and you know what? I also don't, don't like... like we're not going to turn this around. We're not going to turn this around on me. You're not going to turn it around on him. I know what, I'm saying I know what you're, you're doing your right problem. now. Why do you, why do you keep you telling on? me when I talk about him? Because I wanted to just talk to you tonight. I didn't want to go through your bullshit. I'm wanting to understand why you're defending him. I didn't. I'm not saying that I he's do a to. I do want to understand that because of the stuff that he did to you. Let me explain it then. Are you going to let me do that? Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm not defending him. I know it feels like that. But that's not what I'm doing. All I'm saying, I understand that what he did to me and what he did to Nick is a problem. Okay? But what I do have a problem with is for you to point at him and call him a pedophile. As if he's a disgusting piece of shit when he can point the same finger at you and call you the same thing. That's what I have a problem with. So just leave it off the table. And the other thing that I have a problem with is that you inserted yourself into my own situation with him. It takes away from my healing when you take it upon yourself to say it to him. That wasn't your place. Okay, but now you're putting me on the spot because I, I said that to him. Because I knew that about him. That had to do I with me, though. I also know more stuff about him. Okay, you didn't I talk know. about that stuff. You talked about me. Yeah. I talked to my Nick, too. Yeah, and that wasn't even your story oh. to tell. How dare you bring up Nick? He's not there to defend himself. You don't know how he feels. I know. You're right. I apologize because you did wrong. It's not, my, it's not my story to tell. Right. It's not my story to tell. So stop telling it. But it is, but it is for me to tell him that other people know about the bullshit that he's done. 
Casey also bashes Lauren for talking to both Kate and Elizabeth. I want you to be honest with me, Casey. I will never fucking lie to you. And I promise you that I will never, ever fucking lie to you at all. Ever. Okay, except for Kate. So don't do it to me. That was your one time, right? Huh? Kate, do you remember her? That was your one time when you lied? You can leave Kate up all you want. Yeah, okay, well. That happened? about that then? But I will never, ever fight. I will never, ever lie to you again. Okay, you and I so weren't as close again. as what we are now. You and, I will, you and I were not as close as what we are now. I will you never, ever me, fucking lie to you, you again. You were telling me that you loved me back then. That you were so in love with me. Yeah, yeah, well, now, yeah, so then, now, it's, now quite it's quite a different, different story. Why is it different now? Yeah, now it's you quite a different story. Because I'm com- you throw love around. I'm completely like in love with you. I'm, as a day of fucking not being with you, I fuck you, I'm fucked up. You don't make any sense. After two days of, of not being with you, I'm really fucked up. I've been two days without you. You were probably talking to Elizabeth. Who? Elizabeth. Your buddy Elizabeth. Oh, I was talking to Elizabeth. Oh, I was talking to Elizabeth. Were you flirting with her? Elizabeth didn't even come into my fucking mind. The only thing that was in my fucking mind is why the fuck would she be talking to him after the fucking crap that he did to her? Okay, but the thing is. Why would she fucking choose him over me? Why would she put me down like she did? No, that fucking made sense to me. They end up calling Elizabeth, and that's how she finds out about Lauren and her conversations that they've been having. Well, do you want me to call Emma right now and see see what she has to say? Yep. You want me to call her right now? Yes, ma'am, I do. And I love you, Casey Armstrong. What do you want to love? What do you want to love? Oh, hey, you're on you're the phone with Lauren? <laughs> yeah, and Casey, too. Oh, hi, hi Casey. I'm, well, uh, nice to kind of meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Well, I just, I just wanted to call because Lauren and I were having a really calm and rational discussion. And oh, cool. I had asked if he was talking to you, Elizabeth. And he said no. So I figured, I said, do you want me to call Emma? And he said, yeah. So that's what I did. And here you are. So that even makes it better. Um, well, like talking to him, how? Casey calls Dan, trying to have phone sex with him, proving Lauren's point that she's obsessed with other guys and not him. Okay, I'm going to put my phone on this right now, okay? Okay. Okay? Yes, hurry up. Hello? Hey, Casey. Hi. How hey, are you? Good, good. I'm good. I was just talking to Lauren, and he's getting me really pissed off, so I wanted to call you because you're always so good to me. All right. You know, what's going on? <laughs> I just want to know what's happening, you know? Nothing. What are you I'm wearing? He's getting ready for bed. I'm going to get ready for bed, too. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm in the rec area right now, so I can't just take off my clothes like I normally would, but... What do you normally wear? You like can. Her? Usually nothing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Emma actually showed me a picture of what you have going on there. She and, did? Yeah. And it's really really impressive so it's kind of wondering if maybe you were hard right now what i was talking that? to lauren and he he can't perform so i was helping maybe uh-huh, really? what yeah. about emma and lauren i mean they don't have to know if you don't tell them can you keep a secret <laughs> i can <laughs> <laughs> i won't tell if you don't my lips are sealed for now mm. Oh, mm. thinking about that cock of yours as thick as a telephone box. Oh, <laughs> you sound like you're getting close. Oh, keep mm. doing it. Mm. Imagine me riding on top of you. Mm. 
Oh. All right, Dan. That's enough. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck? What, Casey? What the fuck? I forgot. Oh. What the fuck did you just do? I didn't. Lorne, I swear it wasn't nothing. Lorne. 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 Buddy. Oh, shit. He's going to be so pissed off. Lorne, talk to me. We got to fix this, buddy. This whole situation is an entire mess. And as you have already probably guessed, they don't break up after this call. Casey even points it out to him. How many times have you cheated on me? And we're not cheating on each other. We're not together. You know, you keep fucking saying that. Right. We're not even <laughs> going to be fucking saying, talking. And you keep saying. You keep saying we're that. We're together. We, won't, we, will not, we will not even be fucking talking if you keep saying that. Yes, we will. You're not going anywhere. You probably ought to get a, you ought to get a fucking grip on the power of your fucking mouth. Because oh, you're fucking so spoiled that powerful. fucking brat that has always gotten what she wanted. But guess what? You're in the fucking real world dealing with real people that actually have feelings and are not on drugs. Yeah. Get a fucking grip, Casey. You're not talking to someone that's going to kiss your ass. No, oh, you'll kiss my ass. You will. Only, if, if, only if they're going to fucking prove to me. Only if they're going to prove to me that you love me and I'm going to fucking cheat on me. Because if I stopped talking to you, you'd be crying. Because, because you were an actress? While we're here, we should also discuss the relationship between Lorne and Paul since that has evolved since the last time they've talked. Sometime in May, Casey went to jail for going to Emma's and pulling a knife on her. So that's fun. And it's because of me and I know that. I'm not blaming and you. I'm sorry that I put you in that position. If Casey's an I'm asshole, sorry that I put you in those positions. I understand that, and I accept your apology. But if Casey's being an asshole to you, listen to me. Don't call listen, me. Stop. And... Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. She texted me and told me that she was over your house. She already came over. The. Okay. She's there now. She's at my front. She's in the front with my uncle. She's at your front door. My dad's brother. No, she's at the mailbox. And my dad's brother is calling the police and not letting her by. No, no let her in. Do not call the police. Don't I'm not call. letting her in. She has enough problems. I'm not letting her in, and I'm not controlling whether or not he's calling the police because she came with a knife, a little rainbow knife with a pony on it, and she said she has something for me. So, Lauren, he's going to call the police, and I'm not going to stop him. Okay? What? What? Push yeah. They're arresting her. She had a gun. Jesus on. fucking Christ. Huh? She has she had a gun in her purse. Oh my what the fuck? You were gonna have me go hug her and learn. I'm standing Get her out of jail, Emma. No. Get her the fuck out of jail. No. She was gonna come shoot me. You obviously are. What the fuck is wrong out. with her? I don't know, but you want me to get her out of jail, really? Why? Listen to yourself. Yeah, because she's you're the only one she fucking trusts. You don't trust her fucking dad. She was going to shoot me. Pom 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 pom. She was gonna fill me with lead. I'm not gonna help her. Oh my fucking word! What the fuck? Is there any way that I can talk to her? I don't know. She's in the back of the police car. See if they let me talk to her. Officer. Officer, please. Okay. Officer, can I please talk with her? The detainee? Oh, uh, she's going to jail. 
yeah, can I talk to her so we can make bail arrangements and attorney arrangements real quick? Save you guys the trouble of the phone call. You could talk to her down at the police station. Casey, Lauren loves you. Casey, stop opening the door. Casey. Fuck off. Shit, get her, get her. Anyway, Paul, using his massive power, gets Casey out of jail and Lauren not only thanks him, but apologizes for the past interactions that they had. Alright. Hey, I want I want to say thank you for getting Casey out of jail. No problem. I really appreciate that. I apologize for the shit that I said before. It means just spoken out of anger. Alright, so what yeah, kind of do you why are you so upset? I'm 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 really not an asshole. I just no, I, I, like I, I, I just love Casey. Lauren saw the benefit that Paul can provide, and Paul decided that it's better to shape Lauren into the man that he wants him to be for Casey instead of just completely roasting him all the time. Paul also offers Lauren a pretty good job down in California. He holds off on the job though because he wants to make sure that Casey is emotionally secure. He also can't leave the state of Maine. You know what? You got you got some muscles, Lauren. You work out a little bit more. We can put you in one of those uh, like before and after ads for the protein shakes for the seniors. But they'll show some flabby old guy uh, before, and then like they'll show yeah. you after. Don't wanna. <laughs> it takes like five hundred bucks all, all a day. All, all, all I really want is a, is a happy life for Casey. That's really yeah, all that's I want. You need to get a job. Out. You got to earn money, man. You got you to make some money. I have plenty of ways I can make money. It's just. So why don't you? Come out here. I don't get, know. Get, get to 80 grand a year. Clean it up. I'll hook you up with the fast money. Legal, clean. Work. I, I, I got to I talk about things with Casey first. All right. Well, you talk to Casey. She'll be into that. I mean, you want the clean work, right? You don't want to get dirty, do you? No. Okay. Because we can no. make a lot more money if you want to oh. get dirty. I don't mind fucking getting dirty, but... Yeah? You want some of the dirty jobs? Nope. Not them kind of dirty jobs. Well, you just said you didn't mind getting dirty. Right. But I mean actual labor work. Yeah. I'm not talking right. about dirty jobs of fucking screwing people over. Uh, you wouldn't screw anybody I'm over. I'm talking about them because I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in them jobs. Nah, we're not going to screw anybody over. I mean, no, no hitman jobs, fucking trying to shake people up, and shit like that. Don't yeah. believe in that shit. <laughs> there, there, is a, there, there isn't a person in the world that can fucking shake me up. I'm just talking about like some new lingerie modeling, Billy. <laughs> Killing people. <laughs> Hi, this is Miss Mathers calling from Paul Morrow's office. How are you doing today? All right, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. It's my understanding that Paul has offered a position to you for at his company. Huh? He offered you employment? Yeah, before. Yes, that offer is still standing, but I can't assure you to you how long it will be available for. So I was wondering if you could give me a date as to when you will be moving out here. Uh, I can't give you a date because I don't know everything that's going on right now. Oh. Are you still interested in the position? Maybe after I talk to Paul. Maybe. Because this position does need to be filled by the end of June. So is that something that's in your future to come out here within the next couple weeks? Oh. <laughs> that, that's. You are aware of what 
Paul offered it. Eighty-five thousand per year plus benefits plus four hundred one k, paid time off, medical. There will be your relocation costs are covered. I would, I would have to talk to Paul first. Okay. I will and let Paul know and... What, what other convincing do you need? That his daughter is emotionally secure. How does that affect the job? Because she's the reason I'd be moving out there. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. I will let Paul know, and I guess he'll get back to you. Okay. He can give me. I don't have his number. I have no idea what I did with it. Okay. So if he could, if he could personally give me a call and talk about things, then then I would know more. So if you could pass that information on to him. That I want. I need him to give me a call. That would help. Yes, certainly. Okay. Thank you. Have yourself a great day. Oh, and despite their relationship falling apart, Emma did buy those plane tickets, and Casey and Nick had the opportunity to escape their abusive father. Safe to say, they didn't make it to Maine, and it was pretty funny. Hello? Where did you go? Don't hang up on I, me. I didn't, I, I lost my signal. Don't hang up on me, I please. Didn't. I don't even know what the fuck is happening. I was on a Listen. spaceship, it was spinning really fast. It wouldn't Listen stop to me. me. Stop talking, listen to me. Emma is like your best friend right now. You need to get into Emma's car and go where Emma goes. She's going to take me to the hospital or something. I cannot be arrested. No. Li Listen. I do not want to be arrested. You're not going to get arrested. You're coming to me. Where's Nick? Nick, are you packed? Yeah, packed. Nick is drugged Nick, up too. You need, you need to kick in, Nick. Lauren. You need to kick in this heart. They, help it out. They gave, they gave Nick drugs too. God, you know, me. Are we moving yet? It feels like we're moving. We're moving, honey. It's okay. I got look. I have hey, Fifi hey. right here. I have your suitcase. I have Nick. Honey Daddy's on the phone. Um, why is it confusing? Do you love me? We're gonna go to Honey Daddy's house and you're gonna be okay. able to finally suck his cock, okay? Not honey Daddy! I want her to call me Lauren. Lauren. I don't want her to call me honey, honey daddy. Lauren, she said that honey daddy Seriously. is the Martian's name for you. That's all she's been calling you all fucking day. Well, good, but she has talked to me now. Casey, what is my name? <laughs> what? Slim Lauren. What is my name, Casey? Lauren. Thank Lauren, you. Lauren Lynn Armstrong. That's right. Thank you. That's I'm not. Right. I am not. I am not honey daddy. I am. I am Lauren. Honey daddy on the phone. Nick knows who honey daddy is. Emma, you have got to keep in mind what you and Ramona did to me before. All right. I. That's the last thing on my mind right that now, Lauren. That bullshit is still in my mind. Okay. So it does not mean that it's not in my mind now. What do you? What does that have to do with anything? I am like. Putting everything. It has to do with everything. It has nothing to do with what it's I'm true. doing right now. I'm trying to help. I don't want. I don't care about Ramona or anything right now. I want to get these people to safety. Okay. You can air your grievances with oh. me about Ramona later on. All I care about is you. All I care about is you. Teach you to safety. Good. That's if Nick is in danger, if Nick is in danger, I care about he getting him to safety. He is. I don't want this to be some fucked up bullshit because I'm fucking so called quote unquote card. Izquierda aquí, Refulio. Right here. Aquí, aquí, aquí. I'm not be some of that fucked up bullshit. 
All right. Um, we're here. Let's you guys drink some water and then we'll go. Okay. Okay. Oh God, it's gross. Thank you. All right. Hey, man, it's fun. It's been hey, What? I want to let you know if this is a sick game, then it's terrible. I can't hear you over the airport announcer. Hold on. Guys, stand up. We're here. All right. Okay. Is Lauren here too? Oh, we're going there. Lauren's. I'm, I'm here, baby. He's gonna be. Put it on the phone. Put it on the phone. Put it on the phone so she can hear me. Here, Casey. Lauren. I'm here, baby. I'm right here. <sighs> Listen to me. Okay. You're getting on the plane so that you can come to me. I told Casey to hand the phone back to you so I could talk to somebody that was going to hear it. Oh, they'll be there at 11.38 a.m. at Portland, Maine. In Portland? They'll be in Portland? Yeah. Hi. You guys are going to have a layover in Arizona for an hour. Just listen to the flight attendant. She'll tell you where to go. Casey. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's no direct flights from LAX to Portland, Lauren. None. Okay. Doctor, what the fuck you be a deal with Okay. Thank you. Is this the ticket? Oh no, this is the baggage ticket. Okay. Nick, I'm putting your baggage claim ticket in your pocket. All right. Do you have your ID? You need it before you board. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> God, you're so fucked up. All right. Okay. All right, Lauren. I'm gonna go in the airport with them. I. I don't know. I can keep my phone on me as long as I can. They won't let me through the TSA. Okay. Well, it, it, when you when you turn when your phone has to be turned off, as soon as you get the fin, the chance, call me back. I will. Are you gonna hold? Are you gonna stay on the phone with us? Uh, I'm staying on the phone as long as I can. All right. All right, guys. Take off your shoes. Uh, take off the shoes? shoes? What the fuck are we taking off shoes for? Because you have to yeah. go... Honey, let's take off... Let me see your flip-flops, honey. Right you can't go through TSA with your shoes on, Lauren. Remember the shoe bomber guy? They make you take them off? Yeah, yeah I know. You have, yeah, the metal on the laces. Am I going to get these back? Yes, honey, right now. Yes. Honey, you need to take off your belly button piercing your ring okay let me do it for you tell her, tell her, you, tell her keep it off tell her keep tell her keep her belly button piercing off i'll hold it for you sweetie that way it doesn't get lost okay okay all right it's our turn get your id out and okay. your boarding pass okay i'm gonna give tell her i want to tell her i, I want her to keep all her piercing off so she's here. Lauren, I got to part with them now. I'm giving her the phone, okay? Okay. Uh, your phone? No, I'm using Casey's burn phone. Okay. Here, honey. Just listen to them. I'll be standing okay. right here. Okay. Okay. Okay, and you make sure you go back to them all. I'll call you back from the car, okay? Lauren, I'll call you back from the car. I love you. I love you too. I can't believe I'm coming to see you. Oh, I am so fucking excited to see you. Next. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Could you step hey, over here a minute? Oh, hang on. What? I gotta. I'm gonna hand the phone to Nick because they're calling me aside. Ma'am, now. Okay. okay where? Okay, where's okay, that? Hey, Nick. Nick here. Hello. Ma'am. Okay. 
Uh, Where's Emma? Emma's gone. Man, She's on good? the other side of the terminal. Hey, Lil, let me talk to that guy. Let me talk to that guy that is pulling her sideways. Hey, he's in a Why uniform. Hang the phone up. I... Baby, do uh, this. No, don't hang the phone up. You, you let me. You let me talk to that guy. He's the air marshal. Let he me talk to him, uh, Casey. Let me talk to him. Here, I got a uh, Let me talk to that guy. Let me talk to that guy. Nick. Let me talk to him, Kate. Okay, Casey. I got. Casey, let me talk to that guy. Uh, you're talking to Nick. I'm sorry. She handed the phone to me. Why are you talking? Hey, Nick. Nick, let me yeah. talk to that fucking guy that is touching her. He's he's got oh, a gun. I don't want to. Just let her on. Just hey, Nick. just let her on. Okay, she's okay. Trust me. No. <laughs> Ma'am, over here. Stop. Oh. No, 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 no! Emma, uh, Casey does not leave your side, Nick. Pull her towards you. Hey, Mr. Air Marshal, please, I need to stay with her. I need you to move your hands, hey, sir. <laughs> please. Let me talk to that fucking guy. Nick, you let me talk to that guy. I'm going to be back and over here. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming with them. I'm in handcuffs now. <laughs> yes! Fuck that guy up! Punch him, Nick! Punch him! Punch him! Oh! Hello? Emma? Hey, Hi. they took him to a room. I can't get to them. Are you fucking kidding me? Some, I don't know, the TSA agent. Oh, fucking TSA agent! What are they gonna do? They said they can't they let. Can't fucking do shit. They said they can't let anybody what on if they're inebriated. Go get him and bring him back to you. I'm gonna wait here at the Don't airport. Bring him back. Do not listen. Do not bring him back to your house. Who punched him? No. I'm not involved. Somebody punched Nick. Nick punched the TSA guy. Because I told him. Oh, why did you do that? They're federal marshals. Oh my god. He's gonna get arrested. He's gonna get a Oh my god. This is so fucked up, Lauren. I'm gonna wait here to see what happens. They're gonna arrest if Nick punched him. They're gonna arrest him. Emma. Hold on, I think that's Emma. Nick. Hold on, okay. I think that's Nick. Excuse me, where are you taking him? Taking him into federal custody. Where's Casey? Where is Casey? Where's, where's the girl that was with him? She's at the uh, interrogation office. Oh my god. Mm. Why is why is my friend in handcuffs? Ah, uh, because he punched a fucking air marshal. You're talking on the service desk. I'm not gonna waste any more time with you. I'm sorry. Oh my god. They're telling me to go to the service desk. Where's Casey? 
They're not telling me. They told me to go ask at the service desk. I want to talk to these people. I'm about ready to put some fucking legal shit on their ass. Hold on. Sir, is there somebody from TSA who can talk to me? Ma'am? Back up. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes. Do you know these two people? Yes, they're my friends. Just let them on, please. No, 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 no. I make the rules. What what went on here tonight? Uh, they're afraid of flying, and they, they just had a drink at the bar, and... They are just nervous. They're very inebriated. I cannot let them on the plane. Here, I'm sorry. I have my phone. It's on speaker. I have my friend on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Yeah, strip search the both of them. I'll be in there in a minute. Don't. No, please. Don't strip search them. They're both victims of rape. They'll be traumatized. All right. You do know how it's illegal for them to search them, so... Ma'am, I, I, will, I will have... You're going to the fucking yeah. prison. Yeah. Yes. Who are you talking That's to? That's an automatic going to prison. This is my friend. And He's telling they me... They have no right to leave you to strip search them. Hold on. I'm going to put my friend on speaker. He says you don't have a legal right to strip search them. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? Why do you sound like you're in a Don't, different fucking please. country? I am Officer Rollins of the TSA. Stop and bullshit. I speak to Stop bullshit. You're full of fucking shit. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to hang the phone up. Alright. Hey. What happened? I tried to give the phone to the guy and he didn't want to take the phone. He left it on the counter and started talking and then you said bullshit and hung up. They're still in the office. I'm waiting out here. Oh my god. Okay. Confirming. Where are they? Interrogation room six. I'm waiting. They said they'd have somebody to come talk to me. Okay, because you don't read them. Period. Because I, I, I just want one tea in between a little break then and here. Yeah. And I realize that we are actually with child mentality when it comes to this child mentality I know they're they're like children right now they're all fucked up yeah so you're a mom sir is somebody going to come talk to me yeah when give us a little bit are my friends going to hey let me talk to that guy yeah what what? Oh? What do you want? No! Fuck you want, man! Who the fuck do you think you are? I pay you a fucking say, bitch! Motherfucker, I'm the law! Don't talk to me like that! I, I am the law, you I'm motherfucker! I'm gonna phone kick your ass, bitch! You fucking speak, you made a curse, you motherfucker! Call the airline! Tell them! They're hiding your fucking doors and your customers! I'm sorry. Hey, buddy! Go fuck yourself, because yeah, I'm about you to arrest him. your friend, you, you fuck. You fucking cunt! Hey! I want to hey. kill him, bitch! Hey! Bring what are you doing? You fucking piece of shit! What are you doing? I didn't do anything! You do your you're fucking under arrest, you fucking ma'am. Shotgun. You're on this fuck you're on the phone with. Why you are you under arrest? Why are you under arrest? Why are you under arrest? Why am I under arrest? I don't you How are you going to kick my ass when you're on the phone, you fuck? How am I under... Why am I under arrest? I didn't do anything. You're impeding investigation. You're getting I'm out of this, man. What you say? I'm not impeding hey, any investigation. I'm not I impeding... I think you better be fucking cautious. I'm a lawyer. 
TSA, you stoops. I'm a lawyer, asshole. You don't even know what TSA means. I the want fuck? a lawyer. Really? I'm not I, impeding I'm a anything. lawyer. Do you not understand that? I'm a fucking lawyer. What does impede mean? I think you need to fucking back up. Don't touch your fucking phone. Don't touch her. Are you done whining? I'm not whining. Please yes, let me go. Your ass is going to be in trouble if you ever fucking touch her. Officer, please. This is a big misunderstanding. Take the handcuffs off of me. I just... If my friend is too drunk to get on the plane, let me take her home, please. Sir, please. I don't know. No more talking right now. You guys are fucking around too much. I'm uh, not fucking I don't know. around. I don't know. I don't know. That's what you said. I don't know. You obviously don't know who the fuck is on the other line. Because I don't know is not a fucking correct answer. I think you're actually doing me a fucking world of shit. That's what who I think. Who are you? Who oh, believe you? me, you're going to find out. Okay. You are going to hey. find out who I am. Hey, whom, whom cares? Hey, who cares who the fuck you are? You're about to find out who I am. Can you, can you put the phone up on the counter so I can hear him, please? No. Can you uncover me? You basically me? don't. Oh. Or the please. wrong fucking person. Take the handcuffs off me. I haven't done anything, I swear. You can hold the fucking me. Just sit there and be quiet. To now. see how fucking people act towards the fucking customers. Hey, so, sit there and be quiet. I'm now. a fucking lawyer, and you're fucked. You're a lawyer, sir? What's your bar number? Yes, he's my lawyer. You ain't getting my fucking phone number. But you hey, lawyer, I know who you are now. Then you don't know who you are. That lady that you have a hold of? That now, lady you have a hold of? You want to make more problems, That lady sir? you have here in the federal them? fucking government. Shut up. She, she's undercover. She's undercover. You probably should have thought a little more well, about you're, that. Never get her for impersonating an officer. No. She's undercover. Oh, I'm, way to go, smartass. I'm not an officer, I swear. I'm not trying to be a fucking Your officer. Your lawyer just said you were. What? Well... We're not if talking you about the that, I, you guess, know. I guess you'd be letting her go because you obviously don't understand that quite well. Because if I'm her fucking lawyer and she's an undercover officer, you really want to let her go. Hey, Chief, we're just going to take them. We're under, they're arresting both of them now, so go ahead and sit at your bar. Let me go! Let me go! Please! <laughs> Guess what, bitch? Let me go! Your ass is up fucking creek. What creek? I'm her fucking warrior. She's on the car officer. Guess what? You're a CSA agent? You sound like you a drunk lawyer. You can do a lot more fucking time. You're a super Are you a drunk lawyer? Don't fucking talk to me. Or hey, don't talk lawyer. to me. Talk to the other bar Don't talk to me. Is there a broad in there? You're trying hey, to talk to her or doing? something to impress? Leave me alone! Just sit there and be quiet. No! What are you, what are you, what are you saying again? Say that again. Oh, my name is your mom, so don't worry about it. Oh, so you're scared. Yeah, scared holding a gun, dummy. <laughs> Please. Don't worry, because if you're in there for this camera's there. Lauren, stop provoking them. They're going to fucking take me in. Stop. Just let me go. I'm right. not doing anything. Please. Let me go, I'm not a lawyer. Let me go! Now you're not a lawyer? What an idiot. You think we're dumb over here? So now I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Now we're going to hear information I'm gonna tell you, investigation, sir. I'm the, I'm the biggest nightmare. I am the biggest nightmare that you've ever seen. I want and your badge number! It might take a couple number. of years. I want your badge number! After a couple of years, I'm going to have your ass. You're my worst nightmare? That's me losing my you're money at the right, bus man. stop. I think you better be letting her go, because if you don't fucking let him go, you are going to have some serious problems. With who? That's what I thought. With me for one? No, that's what I thought. With me for one, and then with the federal government for the next. Because all I have to do is call one fucking number. the federal government, number. sir. How many times do you have to hear that? Listen, you idiot. We are the federal government. Hello? Or, hello? You know the fucking federal government. They don't know how federal government works, you stupid fuck. 
Hey, everybody, I come check out this thing out. called Blabbing On. He sounds you like You stupid fuck! I'm a probation officer! How many shots of tequila do you got? Are you trying to tell something? Are you in court right now? Dumbass! 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 I am a probation officer! Oh, you now you're a probation officer. You're I a have run just to go. every fucking thing I need. Hey, tell the bartender you so want I another drink, you stupid ass. I think you better be fucking ass. cooperating a little more sensibly. We're going to be tracking this number because you're, you're impersonating an officer now, sir. I'll give me anything I want, just like you are. I don't believe you're a fucking TSA officer. Nobody is impersonating anything, please. He keeps saying he's a lawyer, he's a law enforcement. He's trying to get me off, please. please. The best thing for him to do is shut the fuck up. Dude, you know, you know what I believe you are? No, 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 I believe you're a fucking janitor. Right, 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 right. Hey, I think you're a natural I mean, you're you're fucking janitor. You're not drunk. smart enough to be anything else. The TSA officer doesn't act like a dumbass. Hello? Lauren? Lauren? Hi. Hi. How are you finally <sighs> trying to being able to call me? I, I just don't know got what's out. going on. I just got out. They wouldn't even let me on. Where's Emma? Where's Emma? She's over. I, sh I can see her from here, but she's not right here. Where's Nick? She's... I have no idea where Nick is. Oh. I think, should okay. I just go Here. outside? Do you remember? Hey, yeah. a man you know, with tattoos yeah. is coming up to me. He's walking. Uh, Maybe he'll be able to help me. There's a guy oh. with. There's a guy with a lot of tattoos. Nick. But he's coming up to me, so maybe he can hey. help. Get away from the runner! Run! Run! Casey. Come okay. here. Okay. Come here. What? Get what? Him. Hey! She's over here. Hey, who the fuck do I want to talk to her? Who are you? Hey. running. I'm trying to get away. Tell the motherfucker I want to talk to him. Tell him I want to talk to him. Get her. But I'm trying to get away from him. Get her. Hey, run, God. run, run. You're obviously in an airport. Man, we need to Some yeah. fucking cocksucker comes up with up to you with tattoos and shit. Casey. Get away from him. Yeah, yeah. You need to come here with me. Walk calmly. Oh no. God. Go away from him. Hang up the phone. I do. Hang, my... Hang up. No, run, 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 run. Don't question it. Run. He's, he's right behind me. Run, Lauren. run, Lauren. He's run. right behind me. Oh my god. He's I don't care. Get right in the middle of the fucking crowd of people. What's he gonna do? Attack you in the mind and the crowd of people? Stand oh right god, in the crowd of people. Okay. Go to the dark side and fucking get on the phone. Go, baby, come on. Stop, no, I, I don't wanna turn around. I don't wanna turn around. All right, keep Let walking. Keep walking. Stay raised. Make a circle. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm walking. Walk in a circle. Walk in a circle. Okay, I'm. I'm keeping. Stay walking. right in the crowd. I am. I'm right now. in the crowd. Don't I can still hear that. Keep, keep going. I don't care how much he yells at you. Keep walking oh, in a circle. Some guy just Stay grabbed. right in the crowd of people. Who was that? Do it. <laughs> oh my God! Do it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Do it. What is Don't even think about it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Hang on. Hang Don't on. Don't even. I have to. I have ready? to get further away first. Get, get ready? away from me. One. Get away from me. Go. Scream. <laughs> Scream! No, this hurts! Scream! This hurts! Stop it! Let go! 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 Let go
let go, please. Please, please let me go. They're dragging me. Oh my god. Scream at the cock sucker. You know oh how to god. fucking scream like a girl. Scream. I can't. I can't. I'm too scared. Nothing's coming out. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. You fucking kidding me? Run! I see her. Oh my god. Good. Thank fucking god. Where, uh -huh. where is she? I'm not gonna fucking wax till you're fucking hugging her. Emma, over here. Hi, uh. Yeah. Can you okay. give me a hug, please? You hugging her? Hugging her? Yeah. Tell me you're hugging her. I'm are you have each other in your arms? Yeah. Are you wrapping I'm your arms around each other? With me. Are you fucking wrapping? Hey, I'm still here. Lauren's on the phone. I, I, are you wrapping your arms around each other? Yeah, she's right here. Then do it and fucking just hold each other for a minute and fucking get through this fucking shit because this is fucking stressful shit and I'm not even there. Okay, I know, this is, oh my god. Lauren, we're gonna go. I'm gonna bring her back to my house. No, not back to your house, because you know her dad will go there. Go somewhere where he doesn't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, get, okay. Yeah, get him out of get him out of room under an alias. And you still have fucking sex on my fucking wall. I don't care. Don't, don't go to your fucking house. Okay. We won't go. Promise me. I promise. Yeah, Emma, promise me. Emma, can you Emma. promise that we're not going to go to your house? I'm sorry, I promise you. I'm just like fucking shook. I'm shook up because... <laughs> Oh god, this right, is the go. craziest night. Go. 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 Get a fucking hotel room. Okay. You were 18 at the time when we did hmm. the first investigation. You are 32 years old today. People know who you are based upon your appearance in those two investigations, in those two shows. Do you ever follow any of the news on these guys over the years? I haven't. I really have no reason to at this point. I haven't sought out to keep tabs on them, but I do know Lauren Armstrong has quite a presence. There is a a large following of Lauren and some things that he said that have become quite repeatable. Well, yeah, he was the one who said, oh, my God, and, and, you know, instead of God, he pronounced it God, and now there's the Church of God and people. I mean, there are entire groups online who follow the activities of Lauren Armstrong all these years later. He's definitely an iconic person. Okay, I don't know how to keep saying the same thing over and over again. Lauren is angry all the time. Do you know how to use voice to text? Don't call me fat fucker again. Don't degrade fat me. Fucker. I want you to fucking child molest some piece of shit, dad. Shit. You attempted to molest a child. You couldn't even do that right. Fuck you. Casey isn't getting much better in rehab. Have you, have you talked to Casey at all? I haven't been able to reach her. I know she um using my credit card again. I don't know if you can use it. Oh, she yeah, has. She, well, she told me she bought something. I didn't. I didn't know what she bought it with. But uh, she uh, she ordered pictures of me because she keeps running her phone down. Because she's looking at pictures of me, she just keeps running her phone down. That's what she. That's what she told me was that she ordered pictures of me. Oh, what kind of pictures? Not not like naked pictures. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, 
Are you sending her naked pictures while she's in sex rehab? Um, I don't know what she's ordering. But what are you sending? I, uh, well, pictures of me, but I, I, that's something he has talked to her about. I don't know anything about her. Are you sending pictures of your penis, Lauren? I, I just say I don't know. I don't know what she's ordering. Sending pictures of your penis? Anyway. <laughs> you can't be sending her your pictures when she's in sex rehab. Well, it's supposed to be gut rehab. That's not going to help her. I don't know. She is doing better, though. What? I didn't say that. I, she is doing better. Doing better? She's ordering yeah, she's doing Someone credit card. <laughs> He's doing better. Well, I mean. She keeps flirting with other guys and teasing Lauren. What do you want, Casey? Why don't you? Why don't you call your your other fucking boyfriend? The other one that I just read the message to. That good. He can like me. He can stick it in me. He can fuck me. Who the who the fuck are you talking to? Don't fucking lie to me because you're fucking around on me. You're fucking cheating on me. You are fucking cheating on me, Casey. Don't fucking yell when you're getting in trouble, dumbass. You fucking did this shit. Who the fuck are you talking to? Who are you cheating on me with? Your fucking crying is not going to help you right now. I'm telling you that. Cause I just found out tonight that you've been fucking cheating on me, talking to some other fucking cocksucker. So I will talk to you tomorrow. It's just the same old stuff. It's important to note that since Casey is constantly either in rehab, the hospital, or jail, she has to hide the fact that she has a phone because she usually isn't allowed one. That's why in some calls she sounds normal. But in a lot of other ones, she sounds very quiet and weird. You're a fucking baby time some of a fucking cocksucker. What? You're a fucking lying to me the whole time, Casey. <laughs> no, I'm not Lorny. Hi, baby. They're not good friends. They know you're waiting. And, well, uh, yeah, but they were in Skowigan. That's where I was earlier today. It's only about 10 miles away. It's a good thing they don't have to walk back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nothing really happens in the month of June other than Lauren picking fights with Dan over Casey and Lauren talking to Paul a bit more frequently. This is his message. I'm confident that if you and your girlfriend call me, I'll take her within five minutes. You bitch boy. You ain't got the balls to do it. How much have you been talking to this fucking queer? Hello. What's up, Dan? Hey, what's up, chicken tenders? Uh, what, are you, what are you doing there, fucking ball sucker? No, that hasn't happened yet. And then that you get a, you're engaged to a fucking guy. I, I, how can you not be a fucking ball sucker? I'm gonna t shut up, bitch. I'm gonna t tear you hey! away. I bet you fucking call my number to bet you fucking little faggot. Clear. Oh, so fucking tear this dude apart. Hey, hey, there are there are some queers up here too. You might be able to go to a fucking blue moon bar and fucking tag you a couple of queers. Well, perfect. Then I can go up to Cornville. You're not married enough to have a woman. Then I'll fuck you up. Well, you got kind of a good body though. <laughs> Thank you, I think. You're, sha you're shaving your dick and balls now? You shaved the cock and balls? Um, that was your daughter's request. <laughs> My daughter told told you to shave your cock and balls? Yeah. Nice. Lauren, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm getting hard. What's gonna be? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, these are hot. Uh, I don't want to hear that. I don't do that. Okay, things really start to get going now. July comes around and Casey ends up in the hospital because she got an infection for masturbating too much in rehab. I wonder whose fault that is. What's the matter? Nothing, I'm not a dog. 
you said you had a message for me from Casey, and I'll just want to put this. And I'm, yeah. I'm going to hang out. All right, but you're not having a good day? I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? I said, I'm sorry to hear that, that you're not having a good day. But congrats on your job. I, I haven't talked to my woman all day. Well, no, I'm not having a good day. She's, she's got to go back into surgery tomorrow. She's not doing well. Her fever's up, and she's got an in, infection. So they told me that she's not doing well because they, they bring her into a special room, and she masturbates with you on the phone. Is that true? No. Paul, I am telling you right now. Uh, I am fucking telling you right now, Paul. Right. Do not fucking get in there. Hey, guys. Sexual shit in Casey. But are you just getting into sexual shit with her? Because every fucking picture of mine that is fucking naked and it pisses me off. Do you not understand that? Don't fucking look at me naked. Don't fucking do it. Say, I love fucking pictures. They're not yours. They're not yours to fucking go into. While in the hospital, she also got surgery, and this is where a lot of the problems start. Lauren gets constantly mad at Casey for not responding to him, even though she just had a surgery. You did. You did. I'm fucking I'm fucking Lauren and pissed off. Six and a half hours. It, it does not take six and a half hours to do, to do a goddamn skin graft. Are you fucking kidding me? Shut the fuck up, you stupid drunk asshole. I was going to do it for four hours. Four hours. And I just said it for four hours. But the problem is, is when I fucking left you, it's been six and a half fucking hours. Because I went to sleep. You bought both, you know what I Shut the fuck up, I've been asleep for two hours. You know what I mean? You were trying to talk to me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Casey gets mad at Lauren because Lauren asks Emma to buy Casey some balloons since he can't do it in person himself, and Casey pops the balloons because she's mad at that fact. Oh, baby, don't cry, honey. Why did... Tell me why you chose these other two balloons, baby. Huh? Tell me why you did... You chose these other two balloons. Okay, Emma did that for me. Oh, Emma, I'm back away from you. You're just trying to troll me. Huh? Why? Thought it was from you, not her. <laughs> no, they, no, they, they are from me, baby. No. They are from me. I, yes, no, they are from me. I don't have a credit card that I can use to do that. So Emma did it for me. I had, I asked Emma to do it for me. It makes it not Those are from me. <laughs> they are, baby. They are special. They are from me. I had to have Emma do it because that's the only way that I can do it. I don't have a credit card that I can do it with. Fuck these balloons, I thought. Baby! Why would you do that? Dan and Lauren have another spat about more balloons and how Dan isn't awake in order to give Lauren all the information he needs. Well, I'm so six and a half hours. Like I explained yes, to you, I am fucked up. All right, like I explained to you, I, I am, am fucked up on that shit. I when am I sorry. Call your phone, man. When I call your phone and you don't answer me, you don't answer. You ignore my calls. I didn't ignore your calls. The phone was shut off. Shut the fuck up. Listen again. I got to the hospital. 
she went into surgery. I was calling my boyfriend on the phone. Then the nurse came up to me and said, sir, you can't use the phone here. I said, all right, well, whatever. I shut the phone off, went over on the couch that they have very comfortable couches, leather. You got to see these things. They're beautiful. Put my head down. Next thing I know, I wake up. It's like four hours freaking later. I turn my phone on. I get all this hate from you. And I said, well, he's mad at me for something, whatever. I'm going to bring Casey her phone. Maybe, you know, she, he's called her. Her phone was shut off as well. Then we turned the phone on and you're yelling. And then you're yelling at the nurse, it sounded like. And you're yelling at Casey and you're yelling at everybody. And everybody's cheating and everybody's trying to fuck you over. And what, what, what what's going on? This is all in your head, Lauren. Stop. And you keep hopping on these fucking balloons. I went to the fucking gift shop they have in the hospital. And I said, I'd like to get a couple of those get well balloons. And they said, well, which one do you want? Do you want this one? Do you? And I said, I don't care. Just grab a bunch and, you know, give me, they were like five for, for $20 or something. I said, grab me five and I'll bring them up to them. Next thing I know, you're getting pissed off because there was a hot on one of the fucking balloons. Come on, Lauren, stop. Stop! Matilda, who is Casey's nurse, is calling out Lauren for all the dumb crap he's been doing. Well, honey, I gotta tell you, I agree with the substance, but not with the way he delivered it. Uh, Matilda, don't use words like that, but I gotta tell you, this baby girl just got out of surgery, honey. She is scared. Her blood pressure is high, and all she wanted to do was talk to some man named Lauren, who's her boyfriend. Now, this nice gentleman comes in here with the teddy bear and her cell phone, and she tries to call this Lauren, and this man is yelling and screaming at this poor little girl. Now, why would a grown man, whose girlfriend just got out of surgery, and her life literally was at stake because she was under anesthesia, baby. Now, why would you be yelling at this girl? She woke up after two hours of surgery and all she wanted was to talk to you. Now, why you do that to her, baby? This is crazy. And this whole relationship has been insane. But I think it's about time we turn it up a notch. I found out some information today that I'm not very happy about. Did you find out that I gave blowjobs to everybody at the hospital? <laughs> I found out you the fuck this whole time. Nuh-uh. On YouTube that my brother told me about. What? You're silly. Why would you fuck with me this whole time? But I, you're a drunk brother, really. Okay, you believe him over me. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how I found out. So why all this time would you fuck around with me like that? You already know what I went through with, with, with Ramona. So why would you do it all over again? You're a jerk. You're always yelling no at me. You're always... Don't fucking lie to me. I'm not. I'm... Don't ever call me again either. No, hey, wait, don't hang up. We're fucking done. Come on, no, 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 no. We're fucking done. You're not. Done. Hey, Bye. Come on, baby. don't ever call me Come on, again. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I love you, baby. Baby, baby. <laughs>